about uh, it was six o'clock in the morning. And I go, let's get ready. Is an episode called Fugue. It's called Fugue, okay? Not what you guys are thinking. <laughs> Fugue. Not the other thing. Um, and it's a musical episode that we did, season four. Uh, we did a musical episode this year, and it was a lot of fun. It was really cool. So I guess I would say that is my favorite episode so far. And no, Alex, I'm not going to sing any bars of the songs for you, okay? <laughs> it's not an episode of Glee. Maybe later. Uh, your, your, your follow-up. Hey, we're going to put you out, mate. All right? Nobody heckles the dun. Uh, go ahead. Your second question. Now, this is your second question. All right? <laughs> You don't look sure, Alex. I'm just asking you. Okay, here we go. He's staring me down too. Is he staring me down? He is staring me down. Like, you know, I'm not. I'm, I'm not intimidated, Alex. Okay, maybe I'm a little intimidated. I'm a little bit intimidated, especially when you, you know, you look. Look at this shirt he's got. We're on the same page. Hey, Alex, go ahead. Okay. Last episode of season two. How did you feel of dancing? Alex, can I, um, can I respond? You did see the episode, so maybe you can give us a few steps, because I... No, no. Oh, I see, I see, I see, so it's just all on me, I see, okay, okay. Um, how did I feel about dancing? Um, it was, it was very difficult, you know, we, we talked about it a little bit before, but the poor woman who came to teach me the dancing, she... She said, uh, oh, why don't you just put some music on and we'll just see where, like, what level you're at so we know where to start. And she put the music on and she just looked like this. <laughs> oh, God. Um, but it was, it was a lot of fun. It was, it was, I, I, I honestly, and I, this sounds kind of out there, new agey, but, and, but just before you start smirking, let me finish, the, finish what I'm saying, you know? Um, I, I, I think I was possessed. I actually believe I was possessed because I went into this trance, and I don't really, I don't really, honestly, I don't really remember any of the, dan of the dancing. Uh, it just kind of happened, and then it was like I was out of the hypnosis, and there it is on the screen. And the only time, the only time I really remember any of it is when I actually watch it. And one of the things that I can't stand about watching that episode is um, they told me that in Bollywood movies. You're supposed to smile a lot. You know, show your teeth when you're when you're dancing. I guess this is part of the Bollywood thing. I don't know. Uh, so they told me to do that, and I did it. And if you go back and look at that episode, I look like a complete goofball. Uh, but, but like the experience from the side of working with uh, working extensively with green screens rather than physical locations. And uh, how was that at the beginning, and how is it? Uh, has it become easier? Has it just become more natural? You know, over the course of the show now that we're in the fourth season. Yes. Next question. <laughs> um, it it has. I mean, it, you know, as an actor, you you do generally work with green screen no matter what. But it, but obviously not in the capacity that we work with it on Sanctuary. Uh, so yes, I, I'm not running through walls anymore, and I kind of. I mean, I, I'm I'm very directionally. It was acceptable. He steamrolled his way towards mediocrity. It was beautiful. <laughs> you know what? I wish that you didn't crash my panel now. <laughs> I wish I was still by myself because I was doing fine. <laughs> he was really cute and earnest in the first cut like days. I just... But he, he had a really difficult episode to direct, and I, you guys are going to love it, but it's, there, it was very technical, there was a lot of moving between different times, and these weird transitions. I'm filming you, I'm filming you, so keep on going. <laughs>